Um, transportation is responsible for a quarter of the world's global CO2 emissions. This is a greenhouse gas that contributes to global warming. About three quarters of that is due to road transport. This means the cars and trucks that we use uh, to, to get our goods and to move around. Um, the world vehicle population is about 1.3 billion vehicles today and it's expected to grow to 2 billion vehicles by year 2050. Freight transport demand is expected to grow three times around the same time frame. So the challenge is really how to address this growth and demand. How can we make sure that we fulfill uh, these travel needs uh, sustainably? So my research at SUTD looks at sustainable urban mobility. We are interested in different ways to reduce the environmental impact of, uh, of transport in our city. Uh, one of the most recent projects we did was to look at freight transport or the movement of goods in the city. Um, and we're thinking of different ways to optimize the movement. So one thing we found out through the research study was that trucks are actually idle quite a fair bit and also are not fully loaded most of the time and that's, these are signs of inefficiencies that we're trying to correct. There are several things that we can do as an individual to reduce the environmental impact of transport. Um, first is to avoid car travel wherever possible. So this means adopting virtual meetings instead of physical meetings or walking, cycling and taking public transport like the bus or MRT. Um, if we were to take taxi or private uh, higher rides, uh, we can consider sharing the rides. Uh, the average car occupancy is only about 1.7 passengers, which is fairly low. Uh, a car can actually take on more passengers, so share the ride when you can. Uh, another thing we can do if we were to opt for car travel is to consider using smaller or lighter vehicles that's more efficient than bigger and heavier ones, or even consider the use of uh, hybrid vehicles which are more efficient. In terms of uh, online shopping, consumers can also make a difference by choosing maybe not so urgent deliveries or having their deliveries sent to delivery lockers. So this reduces the risk of uh, missed deliveries and extra trips that have to happen. So small, small choices like that can actually make a difference as well. Mm -hmm.